What's the difference between Zoom meetings or Zoom webinars? Can you simply just host your webinar as a meeting? The answer is it depends and this may surprise you. Hey, it's Arit from Esatino Media, and in this video, I wanna just create a straight to the point video of helping you come to a decision of whether or not to go with a meeting versus a webinar. So this isn't gonna be a full-fledged video talking about every single feature in a meeting versus a webinar. I'm gonna share a brief breakdown that gets straight to the point, highlight the key differences, and help you decide which is the perfect fit for your next virtual gathering. Let's get started. Okay, so surprisingly, it doesn't just come down to the number of participants that will be in your event. Because I've seen other videos where people are like, if you have more than 50 people, then go with a webinar, but that's not necessarily the case because the format of a meeting versus a webinar are quite different. And so it comes down to how do you want to run the meeting? How do you want it to go? For example, do you want people to just come in and listen to you or the panelists speak about a certain topic? Meaning attendees cannot unmute themselves they will have to be unmuted by you or someone controlling the back end if you want to allow someone to speak. And if that's the case, you want to have full control over unmuting, having everyone muted and then unmuting people if, if you want to unmute them, then you want to go with a webinar because in a webinar, everyone comes into the room and they're automatically, they're muted and they cannot unmute themselves unless you or someone controlling like a panelist um, or an admin person unmutes them to speak. This is sometimes handy if you're doing like a presentation and you have a lot of people coming into the room and sometimes even though you let people know, please mute yourselves, there's still gonna be someone in the webinar that just doesn't know how to do that. Uh, and then sometimes it can be distracting with background noise from that person's end. So a webinar would be very helpful for that purpose. Another thing to keep in mind with the webinars is that attendees can't see each other. Only the hosts and the panelists can see all of the participants. And it's actually just, you're not seeing them face to face, you're seeing a list of participants in the room. So this gives it more of like a broadcast vibe in a webinar. Um, you know, let's say you have 50 participants in the room and you just want to share that information with them. Um, they're not going to see each other, keep that in mind. And you're just teaching outwardly, meaning there's no interact, there's not much interaction or engagement. Webinar is your, your way to go. That's why I say, you know, it doesn't just come down to attendees because yes, you can have more attendees in a webinar and you know, those features are helpful where you're just broadcasting, doing a presentation, but maybe you want to do an event with 50 attendees or 60 attendees or 70, but you want them to be able to interact with each other, to unmute themselves, to do breakout rooms, you know? And so in that case, you want to go with a meeting because this is more ideal for those interactive sessions where people can see each other and talk to each other and they can unmute themselves and speak. Um, so let's say your event is hosting a training and you're going to be asking certain questions in the training. And instead of just asking people to type into the chat, you want people to unmute themselves and answer those questions. Or if you're doing a Q&A, you want people to unmute themselves and ask, ask their questions. So these are all things to keep in mind because as soon as you want that face-to-face -face interactivity, you definitely wanna go with a meeting. That is the key difference between the experience of a meeting, a Zoom meeting versus a Zoom webinar. Now I'm gonna include a link down in the description below to this page right here, which dives deeper into the differences of what each includes, if you are someone who's interested in that. But to summarize, you know, both of these, the Zoom meetings and the Zoom webinars, you can do breakout sessions with both and you can host up to 100 people for free on the, on the free Zoom plan as a meeting. So as soon as you have more than 100, uh, you will have to do the paid Zoom plan. And I believe there's also some time limit constraints as well on the free plan. So that's something to keep in mind. Come down here to this part. This is really the biggest difference is that on the Zoom meeting, all participants can mute or unmute their own audio and they can see each other on video. Whereas the webinar, only the hosts or panelists can unmute people and only the hosts and panelists can see who's in the room in terms of attendees. And the only people that are on video are the hosts and the panelists. So the participants are seeing 
you, the host, the panelists, they're not seeing each other. Again, that's why I say it's more of a broadcast. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. And if so, please hit the thumbs up button on this video to let YouTube know it's good content. I do also have more Zoom tutorials on the channel, so I'll link to a playlist that includes more of those videos in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.